Okay, this is frame rate. One, two, three. Hello there, and welcome to Schofield Studios. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the new M. Night Shyamalan movie that just came out, Old. Now, from seeing the trailer, I thought it was going to be a very bad film. M. Night Shyamalan has been an interest, interesting director over the years. He made some great films, he made some decent films, and he made some really bad films. So, I thought this was going to be one of those bad films. And did I think it was a bad film? Did I think it was good? Did I think it was bad? Or did I think it was decent? I'll be telling you in just a second. Please tell me in the comments if you've seen this movie, and if so, did you like it? Now sit back, relax, and let's begin. Now, again, I thought this was going to be a very bad film. I mean, from the trailer, I didn't think the dialogue looked good. I didn't think the acting looked good. I thought it didn't look scary. I thought it was going to scare me. I thought it was going to be a film that overall isn't going to be that great. But at the end, does provide some scares and a few other good things. So that's what I thought going into this. But then I actually saw the film. It actually surprised me with some good stuff in there. I I thought it was a very decent M. Night Shyamalan movie. I thought it entertained me. I enjoyed it. So let's start out with the good. And to start off with the good, I mean, even though it doesn't give you as much scares as you thought would, even though it's not as scary as you hoped from the trailers, it does have some good disturbing scenes. The film overall, is I would give like a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to tell you my number rating now so you understand uh, where I'm at in this film while I'm talking about it. Now, obviously the premise of people going into a beach and then getting old, I don't think that's a great premise. But what this film provides and or where this film gets a strong point is the central idea of them becoming old and under a day. That is a very good premise on itself. Now, of course, adding that with them going into a beach, I'll be talking about that later. Um, I, I didn't think it was all that smart. But I thought the idea of people getting old very quick and how your life just goes by in a flash while also having some meaning in real life. I thought that was very interesting. I thought that was very good. And you can, you can kind of, it kind of feels like you know, there's something that translates to a real world when they're talking about this. The idea is your life right now, your family life, is going to be changing drastically. People are going to get old and some people are going to die. So Shyamalan works on your fear of getting old quite a bit. And I thought it did very well with those themes. I thought it was supposedly a well-meaning film. It gives us an idea of human life and where your, where your life starts at the beginning to the end. Seeing these people age drastically is kind of sad. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a fun film. It's entertaining. I thought it was a very entertaining film. And I Chamelon does a good job entertaining you. He finds some good ways um, to keep the plot fresh. I mean, not very good ways. I, I thought that whole plot line where those two kids fall in love with each other in under a day and their personalities change didn't seem that realistic. But at the end, I did think this was an entertaining film. And of course, if there's anything you expect from an M. Night Shyamalan film, the directing is really good. He he does a very good job with his directing. The scenes where his the camera goes left and then slowly comes right, and then there's something new in the picture, then it goes right, and then it goes left, and then the scene goes on, but in a very interesting way. He does a very good job with that. He is a very great director, and his direction here kind of fits the tone of the movie. It gives you a, 
the sense of scariness uh, or horror and disturbance. So yeah, this was a very, very well directed movie. The direction is probably the highlight. But that's it for the good, so let's go on to the bad. And one thing you expect from just watching the trailers is that the dialogue in this film is very bad. Now this is probably just my opinion because when I saw it with my dad, he said he was didn't think the dialogue was that bad. But when I was watching this, I thought, is this really how humans talk? Do kids actually ask people what their names and jobs are? And do people really talk normally like this? Do people get over some deaths so quickly? When someone dies, then they just die. They're forgotten for most of the film. They just die and they move the plot forward. These don't really feel like real people. The characters, they're not that interesting. I mean, some of the characters are more interesting than others. Some of them were were well written. I liked the the father and the wife. Um, I thought they had a good story arc and the way it ends at the end. I thought that was pretty sad and emotional. But most of the characters in this film, the dialogue isn't good. They're not really likable characters. They don't seem that good. So, you know, they're not that interesting. But they are entertaining, and they do move the plot forward a little bit. So I'll give them that. Also, one thing I was really surprised about is that this movie has probably the most obvious plot twist in an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Now, if you heard my podcast for The Visit, I'll, I'll be sending the link for that in the description. I told you that he is known for making some great plot twists. I haven't seen The Sixth Sense, but I know that has a good plot twist. I I mean, Unbreakable has a really good one. I I thought all, all his movies are known to have these good and these totally out-of-nowhere plot twists you don't see coming. But then when you go back to the film, you start to notice it. But here, in this specific film... His plot twist, I just think, is way too obvious. I'll be going to spoilers, so uh, maybe just skip ahead like 30 seconds. But the plot twist in this film is very obvious, and you can tell uh, why it's going to happen right away. The plot twist is that these people at the hotel bring people to the beach to kill them so they can grow very old, and die in one day. So you can tell that they were the bad guys as soon as you saw them. They looked menacing. They looked suspicious. Why was this guy who was supposedly the manager of the hotel given so much screen time? Well, because he's the bad guy. He's going to play an important role in the plot. So... You know, the whole plot about them making medicine out of the whole thing, that I didn't expect. And I did like the M. Night Shyamalan, um, M. Night Shyamalan appearance, his cameo in the film. But other than that, the plot twist was very obvious. But that is it for the bad, so let's go on to my final ranking. I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10, a decent enough M. Night Shyamalan movie. But if I'm going to see his wide selection of films when it gets into streaming, or if he has his own streaming service, I would not pick this one. It's not one of his best films, per se, but it's definitely not one of his worst. He has made some really bad ones. Glass, for instance, I really hated Glass. I mean, the film overall was okay, but it was very disappointing. But anyways, this film... I thought it was decent. It was not bad, but it was not great. I thought it was good. Now, there is some great directing. I thought M. Night Shyamalan's Bag of Tricks, at least most of them, played very well here. I thought the plot, even though kind of being stupid, that you go into this 
the speech, and then you grow old. Growing old in a day would be a great plot in itself. The whole beach thing added on to the, I thought, made stupid. But the film overall, I thought was interesting. He does know how to entertain you, and I had a good time watching it. So 7.5 out of 10. And if you like M. Night Shyamalan movies, don't think this is why it's best. Now, I can't say that you'll like it or hate it. I didn't hate it, but if you'll like it as much as me, because it does have very mixed reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and everywhere. But if you do enjoy it, please tell me in the comments. And thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more from me and get notifications for new content. This has been Schofield Studios, where you're the audience. And cut.